Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I might just follow you back. Your Paul Tengal here. Well, I want to show you a quick, comp quick price comparison that I did today between Publix and Walmart. Now, what I'm showing you are going to be pictures and screen prints and um, one little like document graph type thing that I put together because I, sh I f shop almost exclusively at Walmart and I do a little bit of shopping at Publix. So I wanted to show you today the um, price comparisons on stuff that a lot of us buy on a very regular basis. So you can see the difference between shopping at Walmart and the savings that you get versus shopping someplace else because you don't like Walmart or because it's convenient. So here's today's receipt. Now I want you to keep in mind when I show you the prices that I did not take into comparison what I ended up because I got BOGOs. But what I wanted to show you is what I did end up paying for things. Now right here this is the first one these are Totino's pizza rolls these are a 50 count bag that I paid five dollars and sixty one cents per bag but I got one free um, and then for Frosted Flakes and Fruit Loops are the same brand same size box small boxes I paid four seventy nine per box got one free and then Pop-Tarts $2.42 for an 8-pack, which is 4 bags with 2 Pop-Tarts. So, that came out to $12.82 for those couple of items. Um, at Publix, where is at Walmart, would have been $10.80. Now, granted, the box is a cereal bigger and the price is lower. That price also includes, um, that price actually would be lower because we never buy the small box of Pop-Tarts. We always buy the bigger boxes, so the small box of Pop-Tarts would drop that total by almost $2. So let's say $9.40 would have been what the Walmart price would have been for those same items. Okay, so what I pay at Walmart for, let me bring this one back up. What we pay at Walmart for Totino's pizza rolls, I'm going to cover myself up for a minute, is a 50 count bag for $3.58 per bag. So two bags together would have been $7.16. I paid $5.61, so I did save about two bucks, but I still ended up getting conned into paying two dollars and change more for the one bag than I would have paid for it at Walmart. And Pop-Tarts, we always buy the 16 count because all three of us in the house eat them for snacks and a quick breakfast. They're $3.58. They're $1.82 I believe I saw and I do have that, that price on the next screen um, for that same size box that I paid two dollars and forty two cents for at Publix. Um, and I'll bring that graph right up to you now. So Let's minimize that. So let's go through a few grocery items. Okay, Kellogg cereal per ounce. Now I ended up doing a per ounce because I haven't bought the 14.7 size um, from Walmart in the re recent future, you know, in the near future, uh, near past, I should say, because I, I am able to research my receipts on my phone. So these are the price comparisons I came up with. So at Walmart, I buy a 24 ounce box of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes and or um, Fruit Loops or pretty much any other Kellogg's product for $3.64 for 24 ounces. Okay, so I did a breakdown of per ounce. So that breakdown per ounce is 15 cents an ounce. Publix is $4.79 for 14.7 ounces, so 10 ounces less almost, um, or 33 cents per ounce. So it costs you 31.59% more 
to buy that same that cereal at Publix than it does at Walmart. Totino's Pizza Rolls. Walmart, $3.58 per bag, comes out to about seven cents a roll. Publix, $5.61 a bag, comes out to about eleven cents per roll. 56.7% more than Walmart for that same bag. Pop Tarts. Now, I promised you I did go get the price for an 8-ounce eight 8-pack, eight so here it is. $1.82 at Walmart for an 8-pack, which is the four, the four bags and, you know, eight total Pop-Tarts. Or $0.46 cents per pack. The 16-pack I pay $3.58 for, or $0.45 cents a pack. Uh, Publix, the 8-pack is $2.42, or $0.61 cents per pack. So that's 16 cents, you know, more per pack. When we were looking at what 60 cents more for that same box, 33% um, more than Walmart. Um, so the 16 pack of Publix I was just looking online is 3.79 for the 16 pack, which is you know the eight eight foil packs, or 47 cents per pack, about six percent more than Walmart. Um, I almost want to say that price was higher than that when I was looking in the store, but I did. That was the price I found online for the 18 pack, uh, for the 16 pack. Coke two liter. Now my husband does drink a lot of Coke and Pepsi. We buy two liters instead of bottles, instead of cans or smaller bottles. Um, Walmart, I pay between a dollar twenty-five and a dollar fifty for a two liter. Publix are two nineteen. I just saw them the other night, and I look at my son like, that's crazy. They had to buy two, get one free. You're going to pay $4.38 for two two liters. Well, basically for three two liters. It's insane. Um, and Hormel bacon. The Hormel bacon at Walmart runs between $4.99 and $5.25 a pound. Publix and Winn-Dixie both charge $8.99 for that same pound of bacon. And for pretty much any other name brand bacon. Some of it costs even more. 80% more than Walmart. So if your household is on a budget um, and you are trying to get the most bang for your buck, I, you know, do I really have to say set politics aside? Do I really have to say that? Look, this is the price comparisons right here. I went to Publix this afternoon and got my son a popcorn chicken dinner. And I'm like, well, I know we're out of cereal. And my husband eats a lot of cereal in the evenings before bed. So I was like, well, <clears throat> they usually have cereal BOGO. And I always know better than do the Publix BOGOs. Very, very rarely do you ever actually get a good deal. So I did a BOGO on um, on these products and I can tell you okay, my phone must look in the other room and I can tell you that it really isn't that great of a deal because look the, the Totino's well the, the Kellogg cereal um, for two boxes the Kellogg cereal would have been what seven dollars and 28 cents for two boxes um, so, you know, I did save a little bit, but again, th those, bo those sizes are 10 ounce differences. Uh, Totino's pizza rolls, again, that's a, you know, an ounce per ounce, roll per roll, I should say, comparison right there. Three fifty eight per bag at Walmart, five sixty one per bag at Publix. Um, the Pop-Tarts are extremely similar in price. Um, the sodas are a world of difference between the two prices and the bacon. It's just astronomical. So look at and do price comparisons. Hang on to your receipts and look. You know, if you have a boutique, which is what I would consider Publix, a boutique type grocery store, you know, a specialty grocery store, really even specialty. This is more like, um, I guess, for the rich people would shop. 
grocery store in your area, so you probably have Kroger's and, you know, Wise, depending on where you're at. Do some price comparisons. Everybody's got a Walmart nearby. I really would, you know, do some price comparisons when you're shopping. And what I tend to do is, like, when I'm looking for steaks or something like that, I download the, the app called Flip, F-L-I-P-P, -P, on your phone. And um, you can research um, sales ads. Okay, so you can research Flip on... Um, pull. I'm sorry, download Flip onto your phone. And what I'm going to do is... I'm actually going to put a video of myself using Flip next to this video. Um, and I'm going to type in steak. We have been actually been having steak more often than recent. Um, than, you know, times past. And when you type in steak, now I'm looking. It's like our local grocery stores are Winn-Dixie, Publix, and Walmart. Um, we also have Lucky. All the uh, Fresh Market and Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. So those are the stores that you know this would bring up for me. Um, also Bravo. Um, I think that's it. So as we look through this list here, we've got when Dixie listed for steaks. Then we have Publix, um, Dollar General. We actually don't have a Dollar General grocery store nearby, so I'm not even sure why that's even in there. Um, Publix, Target, I forget there's Target, that's a long ways away from where I'm at though, Bravo, um, there's Lucky's, Sprouts, oh I forgot Sprouts, we have a brand new store called Sprouts in here, um, but you can see that, you know, you have all these stores that pop up, um, if you're in market for eggs, now, I always know Walmart has the best price on eggs, depending on the store you go to. Um, <laughs> the other day, well, Publix really had a big snafu going with the eggs. Um, they had, Publix, Publix has what's called the Publix Promise. Something rings up the wrong price, you get it for free. They had the EB eggs, which are the most expensive eggs you can buy, on a display that were supposed to be the Publix brand eggs. For two dollars nineteen cents, which is almost two bucks off with that cart of EB's call shit Publix. <laughs> I pointed it out. <laughs> um, okay, Coke. So look, Coke products three for eleven at what are we looking at? Family dollar, um, one dollar one liters I think at Family Dollar, uh, two liters at Big Lots. 99 cents. Now remember that's, yeah, that that um, that same bottle of soda is two dollars nineteen cents at Publix. Um, Walgreens um, buy two get one free of 12 packs, and on and on and on. Um, what else are we looking for here? Um, the tea. And as you can see, this this is the app called Flip. Um, so you flip there. Um, and this app is awesome for keeping you in the loop. They have the majority of retailers. You can type in pretty much any retailer you're looking for. You can even make them a favorite. And um, you can see what people are what's being charged. Not so much what's being charged. I'll take that back. It shows you the local ads in your area. So you can see what current prices are on those ads in your area. Um, I'm not sure if um, wine cooler. Oh, uh, wrong kind of wine cooler. <laughs> but you know, you kind of get the idea. Beer. You can see who's got what on sale. I don't drink beer, but you can see who's got what on sale. Um, so you kind of get the idea. It's a great app. I love it, really. I use it several times a week when I'm looking for something, in, you know, in general. So um, short video today. Publix versus Walmart. Walmart wins. Hands down, Walmart wins. Because, I mean, if you're, if you're shopping on a budget for a family, 
you can't afford to continue to get ripped off by one store when you could easily go to another store. And when I say easily, I do mean easily. We live um, about a mile and a half from Walmart and about a mile and a half from Publix and Aldi. I come out my, you know, come out our development. I turn left to go to Walmart. I turn right to go to Publix and Aldi. It couldn't be any simpler than that. So, up in the Publix Plaza is our bank, is a Chinese restaurant, is Walgreens, is um, or my son and husband get their hair cut, it is a subway and gas station. Walmart's the other direction. What's going the other direction? Two gas st Two gas stations. Um, McDonald's, Burger King, I'm sorry, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Dunkin' Donuts, Walmart that also has a McDonald's inside of it, Dollar Tree, Chinese restaurant, Pet supermarket, you know, so, um, actually not pet smart, but you get the idea. It's, you know, equal distance away. There's, you know, sh similar shops in both directions. So, you know, you really, if, if you can not spend the extra, why not go to the other place? It might take you a few extra minutes. You could check yourself out if you want to. But, you know, why, why spend more at one place? My husband would say convenience, but you know what? Convenience only goes so far. All right, Neapolitan gal out. Tell me in the comments below um, if you're in here in Southwest Florida, what stores you'd like me to compare prices with next. See ya.